So today I'm gonna to be making breaded chicken for dinner. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do chicken strips or chicken nuggets, but it's gonna be uh, something that I do quite frequently for dinner, um, probably with a side of vegetables or maybe a salad. It might be a salad. Um, but so I need to get some stuff prepped for that as well and I need to make more ranch. So um, I might like speed it up so you can see me making it. But obviously if you wanna go see how I make my ranch, go ahead and check out my homemade ranch videos. So this is, this is my recipe. Ah, everything shut off. Okay, so I'm gonna take my eggs, my chicken's eggs, and I'm gonna crack about four in here because I'm gonna uh, cut up a lot of chicken. A little bit better of a angle right there. All right. Still working on my lighting and stuff. Every now and then my house gets a little weird with the lighting, but I almost put my hand in there. Did you guys see that? <laughs> what was I thinking? All right, so four eggs into my marinade. Oh, yay. Comment down below if you thought that was funny. <laughs> and then we're gonna do some pepper. My trusty seasonings. I can't go anywhere without these seasonings. Well, I mean, maybe I could. Some garlic powder. I don't know, they just like enhance dishes. I'm telling you, and garlic and onion in different forms yields different flavors. A lot of people don't know that, but once I started using them, I was like, oh, that does this, that does this. So I use them in everything. They're staples for me. You would think I have like a lot extra in my pantry though, and no, I don't have room for that right now. All right, and now Tabasco. I love Tabasco in my egg dredge. Okay, just a lot of Tabasco. Okay, so I am not actually going to uh, put any milk in this. Sometimes people do, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I just kind of want to make this simple. And I find that the flavor is perfect in this. So it doesn't really need the milk. All right, so now I'm going to get my chicken out. Okay, so I'm using my trusty old chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs. They're still a little bit frozen, but that is okie dokie. It's all good. And right now, my kids are at school and everything, so I mean, I'm going to let this kind of chill in the fridge for a while, so it's got plenty of time to kick it and do its thing. Let's see, what do I want to do with this? Huh. Okay, I think I want to make homemade chicken nuggets with this. So let's see, chicken strip, nugget, whatever, whatever that size looks like to you, that's what we can call us. I mean, they're all the same thing to me. Yeah, homemade chicken nuggets. So, throw it in here. You know, I'm kind of a cook, cook and think of what I'm making as I go type of girl. <laughs> so, I don't know. Growing up, I watched a lot of cooking channels Oh, and I don't trim the fat off the chicken. I actually kind of like that. I'm a weirdo. Um, I don't know if everybody likes that, but I definitely enjoy it. But anyways, it sounds weird. I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, growing up, I watched a lot of cooking shows. So I really loved uh, getting the chance to be able to learn how to cook from that. It was very entertaining to me. I have no idea why. These are kind of turning into strips too, so this is just a whole big interesting thing this is turning into. Mm, it's so good, guys. My kids go crazy for this. Don't go to the store and buy chicken nuggets. I mean, you can if you want a lazy day, that's fine. I've done that. Walmart makes them actually, <laughs> Walmart makes some pretty good ones if you want a lazy day. But, um, you can just make your own. It's super simple. Take some chicken out, thaw it, cut it up. You don't even have to do all the seasonings in the eggs. You could literally just do eggs, maybe pepper, and then some breading and call it a day. Um, you don't have to make it difficult. Cooking can be very simple and very rewarding. Now, there are days that I don't want to cook and I beg my husband to go out to eat, but for the most part, I don't mind it. Okay, so I got that all cut up. And now I'm gonna throw this into my egg. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then I'm just gonna soak it, coat it, whatever, and let that sit for a minute. 
a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and then we'll start the bread. So let me wash my hands. Okay, so I got my glass dish out that I used the other day for the meatballs. So I took that video out too. That was really good. Um, and I just put some parchment paper in it and I'm gonna go ahead and start the breading process with you. So I just take Italian bread crumbs. Whoops, that was loud. I'm gonna dump some. I'll dump the whole thing in. All right, and then we're gonna take some Parmesan cheese. Yum. I like quite a bit of that in there. And then I'm gonna take some, again, with the dried garlic. Don't worry, it's not strong in garlic flavor. If you're not, like, you know, hyped up on that strong garlic flavor, don't worry, it's really not. That was un uh, dried onion and then some pepper. But you wanna season your food. Definitely wanna season that food up. All right, and then all we're gonna do, that Parmesan cheese does wonders for this dish. No, I think I want to use the rest of this. Okay, yummy, yummy, yummy. And then all we're going to do is, I'm going to leave this hand dry so that I can turn my camera off. We're going to bread this, just like so. Put it in here, move it around. So I'm going to get this breaded, and I'm going to get it laid out on the sheet, and then I'll come back to you guys, because this is pretty messy, and I don't want to get my phone all dirty. So I'm just going to bread it like this, make sure it's coated, put it in the dish, and then I'll come right back and show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so that actually took two pans. So, now that I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new Parmesan cheese, because I'm gonna do a little something to the top of this. Okay, so first I'm gonna take my olive oil spray, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray the top of my chicken nugget. So get that sprayed. It's coming out slow, so it does look like I'm using a lot, but I'm really not. It's just coming out super slow. The last time I made this, my husband was like, babe, that's a lot, but no, trust me. In person, it's just coming out slow. <laughs> How many times did I say it's coming out slow? Comment, in be comment below. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Parmesan cheese, shake it on top. Yummy, yummy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my pepper. And on top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the fridge with some saran wrap over it until it's time to eat, or until it's time to cook it. Um, that way I don't have to cook it later, I can just hang out with my kids when they get home. And right before I cook it, you'll see me uh, put a little bit more of the spray on it.
right guys, so I opened up a bag of frozen Brussels sprouts and I opened up a bag of frozen carrots and I'm gonna cook these. And I got my uh, my my husband, I got my oven preheating to 4, 420 I think. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take these. I just took them out the fridge a little while ago to get so that things can get to room temperature. And then I'm gonna go ahead and toss them in the oven and um, I'll let you know how long I'm going to cook for. I'll probably cook for about 35 minutes or so. And then when I'm done, I'll plate them up and show you guys what they look like. They smell phenomenal. I cannot wait for these to be done. I'm actually going to go ahead and put some oil on this real quick. Some um, of that spray olive oil. So I'll show you guys what they look like when they come out the oven. Okay, guys. So the chicken nuggets are done. I'm only going to take out a pan of them, though. So let's make a little area for this camera. I burn myself. Okay, so let's make these plates real quick. Let's make a plate for the kids. Just so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, we'll do Lily. She has um, honey mustard and she has some uh, barbecue sauce. And then we are going to give her some. Sorry. Okay. We are going to give her some chicken nuggets. They look and smell so good. So I'm going to give her four of the small ones. Let me get the boys some too. Get Jesse's plate going. I don't know if you can see that. His is tucked in the corner. And then we're going to get Liam a plate going. Okay. See their plates. All right. And then for the sides for this, we are doing uh, carrots and Brussels sprouts. So let's get the kids some Brussels sprouts. Yum. These look so good. I was going to do salad, but Brussels sprouts sounded amazing. So that's what I decided on. So I'm taking a long time because I'm doing all three of their plates. Okay. Oh, and I just put Brussels sprouts on my plate, <laughs> which you guys didn't see. Okay, now here's some carrots. And then I have some extra rolls if they want some, just so we can eat them from yesterday's stew. And this, I mean, they don't need it though. I and mean, this will definitely fill them up. And I have a whole nother pan of chicken nuggets that they can dig into um, after dinner if they want some more. Hold on a sec. Okay. Okay, guys, so that is dinner tonight. It looks so good, and I have a whole nother pan right there for me and Daddy, and that's what's left in this one. It looks delicious. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, guys. So I cooked the chicken nuggets at 420 degrees for about 45 minutes. Um, every oven's different though, because it's colder right now. It was that high, but in the summertime, it would actually be lower. So just pay attention to them. Keep your eye on them. Usually I'll set the oven for about 30 minutes to 35 minutes, and then I'll check it. And if it's golden brown, you know, all the way around, then it's done. So there you go.